Hi, welcome back to another Archicad speed modeling quick coffee tip. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and join the ASM tech base email list for newsletters and future updates. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create different special column designs, which you then, if you do that tutorial, you can create many more nice column designs for yourself. So let's get started and see how I do it. Okay, I've got set up just a simple file here, two sections, and there you go. And what I do is, because this is a height of five meters, I show you zero to five, I mean, they're ground to first floor five meters. So that's why I have also those two lines, which are five meters apart. You will see in a moment why I use this. So let's start up with our first column. For this one, I use the shell tool. Just really simple settings, you know, put it on, as always, put material, put it on column layer. And let's just start drawing this first column. And I start drawing. In X, negative 250 minus, enter again, going up here on an angle, and you can see the blue line guideline gives me the exact guide there, and I click again. Now, you see, I've still got a pen, so let's click up here, and it will revolve around by an angle, and I want it 360. And that's what I got. Now, sometimes you got to be careful. You see, you have to flip this over because otherwise it would have gone. That's the thickness of it. So we got this column now. Let's look in 3D. There we go. Okay, so to make it a bit more smooth, you can alter this now just simply with all the different options we got here. So let's move this a bit up. There you go, let's have a quick look again. All right, that's our first column. Now, I did draw this in 2D elevator on the plan because I can't draw it like this in the section and won't let me. So that's why we go now to the two section here. And all you have to do is we rotate this to use. Okay, so I could draw this over here. Let's have a look in 3D. Where are we here? Woo. Okay, see that's our first column. Again, if you would want to alter this, you can't really I can show you. See, it doesn't let me in the section. So you have to decide if this is what you want. Okay. Or if you would need to change it at a later stage, just rotate it back and alter it into the view and obviously rotate it back up and that's it. So going back to my floor plan now, as you can see, we got now this column here, which and obviously, you know, we can just drag around and put a couple of columns in. Okay, that looks good. Let's get back here and we do the next one. The next one I use again, the shell tool. And what I want to do is this time, I want to do a bit of a shape. So let's get the spline going. So this one, I just really want to shape a bit different, okay? Maybe something like this. Okay, now I draw a line, because I want to use my magic wand tool. Let's just draw the line here and use the magic wand tool. There we go. And I want to revolve it around here. Now, I show you quick 360. I will do it in a moment only five, but 360, obviously, it will go all the way around again. So you have this cool round column, but I want to do something different. So let's do another step and do that again. And I want to only revolve by five. Okay, so what do I have now? Let's have a quick look here. So that's the piece of column I have. Now, you can, I'll show you in a moment, you can use also the morph tool. 
It's just increased it and see how far I can go because obviously I've got a bit of a hole and I don't really want that hole in there. You can see it's increasing the thickness. Probably okay. Sometimes it does really funny things here. Have a look if I go one meter. Maybe it works, but yeah. Oops. Oh, actually, this time it's worked. Sometimes you get. Oh, see, there's a bit. Can you see this? So you gotta be very careful how far you go. So let's just do it for now. 500 seem to have done okay. Now, because my purpose is okay, because I will draw in the middle after a round col column in the middle. Actually, you know what? It's not okay, because if I do this... So, let's get rid of this, and we use the Morph tool. It's always good to learn, even for me, you know, to see what's happening. So, if I use the Morph tool, let's have a quick look. Got to make sure I put that also on the column layer. Uh, columns, and we have this on paint one. Just do the same thing. Right, so we click now Magic Bond tool and I want to revolve this there. Whoops. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, you can see it's a bit slow because I think the Magic Bond tool settings is too high. Let's have a quick look. How we got here? Yeah, 36. So, how about we try this? 20. Remember, we always have to be, um, work on this. So, go up. And 5. Now, this should be much smoother. Yeah, see, because it's, it's, it's automatically closing this off. Right, so what I want to do is the following now, because I've got this, let's go to our section 2, it's there, and we rotate this up, there we go, now I want to rotate them around, now let's just do, again I'm just designing this sort of Winging it, so distribute minus one, let's do 20, and we rotate this. Um, I think we need this one. So there, there, we just go around, and there. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Okay, you know what? Do a little bit more. So I undo this. Let's take this one again and let's make it 30. Take them really nice and smooth. All the way around. Yeah, I like it. That's pretty cool. So, but because, see, it looks a bit fine, so we need really a column in the middle. So for this, I just use a normal column. Let's, um, I think, let's have a look if this is, yeah, no, it's not grouped. Undo step, redo step, and then you group this. Great. Column, just a normal column, and the height is five meters. Paint one. Um, columns, yes, thickness, let's make it 350 for now. Let's see what happens. Oh, I need a round one. That would be nice. And I want to insert it in the middle and it looked a little bit small. Let's make it one meter. All right. Let's see. Yeah, tiny bit too big. But that's cool. So you select the column and let's make it 800. Yeah, I think that's good because now you have the column in the middle. Okay, looking great. So let's take those, let's group this. Okay, and 
this column is done too, we move this back here. There, let's copy a column back here. Come on. Oh, yes, yeah, that's a drawback with the morph. I'm telling you that before. Sometimes it just gets a little bit slow, but they do look pretty good. All right, 3D. What have you got? Yeah, quite pretty. All right, next column. What else do we have? Okay, so I can delete this for now. I don't need this anymore. The next column I do different. I use a slab for this to start with. Let's put this again on paint one. And we put this in columns and go from bottom up five meters high. Yeah, good. And how big do we? I don't need this for now. Let's go over here. And Let's do a three by three. So we go X three plus and Y three plus. Okay, so obviously that's just a sort of a square column at the moment, as you can see, there we go. Now I want to reshape this. And for that, I start using now my morph. So we go to, first we start with section one. Go over here, there we go. And we will draw a line. And let's start here. And we just go over here. Go down here. And there. Great, take this and we make this a bit round just like that all right that looks good let's see if i can mirror copy yeah that looks good so we select both of them and all you do is you just extend them a bit There you go. That's good. So next one is we take those two, we drag a copy and we rotate. Okay, let's have a look at the section. What's that one too? Yeah, there we go. So I want to do this a little bit different. Let's move move this one there but let's rotate that a little bit actually you know what let's just leave it there because i can move this after yeah moving it after we'll see in a moment what i mean yeah this is good okay and let's move those two now in here you can see already what I'm doing. I know, I think you can see, I will use solid element operation. Oops. Okay, so I should really, I should have put them on a different layer. Let's rename this one. And we use this for cutting element. Element and Show this wireframe, turn this on. And let's just work in this one. Great, so morph. There we have the morph, there we go. Select all morphs and let's move it to the cutting element layer. Which should be wireframe, what happened? Oh, I didn't update. There you go. And it should show on wireframe, eh? There you go, update again. Took me a while, but you know, I got there. So, that looks much better. All right, so let's go and open the solid element operation. Select everything but de deselect the slab. Yeah, so operator. 
slap target subtraction yes execute right so as you can see now if we turn this layer off got this column now people that have seen and know if you move this column around without the cutting element the cuts will disappear so my only option is to convert this to a morph okay so now i can move it around don't need the cutting elements so let's move this over here for now and what i wanted to do something further because this is nice but i like you to show you can also move this a little bit on an angle and i think that's quite nice so what you do is you use the different arrow here this one and if i click now here and move oh, it will only move this see there you go so suddenly now my column looks different okay you can see by the way the morph is a little bit there's some segmenting going on because it's a morph now so it's select this with the normal tool and we can use the morph uh, where is it here where is it there we go so we can change the segmentation a little bit let's try to double the segments yeah it looks already a lot better we can do one more sometimes if you go overboard it it starts looking really bad but let's try one more all it does is double the segments so let's try this again this is ticked so it doubles again yeah, it's pretty smooth now so great so let's move this over here drag another one here and maybe rotate a little bit so it looks a bit different Woo. okay so we got three nice columns already next column okay for this one i use the morph circle let's draw a circle so we do um, x400 plus select it and go into 3d there you go you can see by the way the segmentation so let's do this before i draw because it's much easier to see so if i double them those ones double there you go let's double one more double ah looks pretty good now let's do this by five so we've got by five meters great okay so that's always a very simple round column for now but i want to stretch them to the left so I use this arrow tool again and I want to stretch this now over here okay so nicely stretched and on top of this I want to reduce the scale of the top arc so if I click now here I got option those two this is going from the corner as you can see but i want to go from the middle so we go to the middle here make sure you stay on the 45 degrees so it stays in the middle and enter that's pretty cool there you go i actually wanted to keep one of them so let's just copy this and do a couple of undo steps there we go go back in here and we paste the copy in so what i have now is i got both of them see there you go and this one i have to move just slightly a little bit or we, we can actually no actually I want, I want to move it a little bit it looks much nicer so move this a little bit All right, great. Let's group this and we drag this over here. 
make a copy and have a look they look pretty cool too nice one okay what else do i have for you yes it's the morph again morph is a very handy tool for doing very nice columns so in this one i want to just let's go x 500 plus and we do y two meters plus all right let's have a look I've got the wrong one here selected i want a lot and we extend this one to five meters okay so now i gotta swap back to this tool here next thing is we do we select and i want to go backwards with so you can see the radius here coming up okay to make sure i do the same either side so what i do is and yeah, let's do 15 We do the same this one and you do 15 so now they're the same okay and let's go on the other side we'll do the same here again you go in 15 and 1500 or 15,000 in this case right so that shape looks cool but we can do better than that we can have a quick look segmentation let's do the segmentation first so select everything yeah there we go so we move and double all right good so select the top for one more step and we rotate this one now that will look pretty cool there and it's Move this 90. How's that for a color? Nice, very nice. So, drag this over here to our column row. Put one over here and let's just rotate this a bit. Yeah, they look pretty nice, don't they? Look at that. For the next one, let's start with the column itself, the column tool. Um, five meter high, that's fine. Column paint, yes, but I only want this 500. All right, let's click that one in. Section, that's the one. Great. Let's drag a copy, and we drag a copy halfway. There we go. And we use our angle tool. Let's make this 60. Now, sometimes a bit unlucky, yeah, it's sticking out that way. So let's just rotate that way so I can keep going with my tutorial. There you go. So take this and move it down. This one moving down here. And now you can see we got a problem here. So let's measure this, hit M. We do have 39. So what you have to do is reduce this one. Let's reduce this by 39, which is 461. But that didn't work because it's going on both sides. So what I usually do is I just keep removing. Zoom in, it's much easier, takes less time. There you go, we're getting close. That's 30, 31. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we can mirror a copy. the middle all right have a look if that looks looks fine here but you will see in a moment we do have a problem there we go now because the col the column can only reduce the radius round and it seems to be to connect this you need a slight elliptic shape so in this case that column has to be converted to a morph all right and then we use our familiar second arrow tool now so you only want to select the surface click again and this time i want to scale it go there 
and you can see I'll do the middle again. And we scale this in. Arcgit seems to snap to it. Have a look. It's hard to see. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Let's oh wrong tool to group. Let's group this and move it over here. Right. It's starting to look pretty exciting in here. Look at this. All those different columns. Why are you ranking? Woo! Yes, they're looking good. I do one more column for you. And for this I use I sort of with the morph revolving. And let's just actually I need another spline here first. Similar to what we've done before, and let's just draw a line to revolve this. Okay, find this a little bit thick here, so as you know, you can just adjust them slightly. Yeah, I want to make them thicker at the top, so. out here a bit more yes there we go I like it like this right morph and we click and go around this one and I want the full 360 oops Okay, so let's have a look what we got here. Yeah, that's this one. Great, so what I want to do is now I like to draw action it first. Turn this one around. There we go. We turn this one. Great. Cool, so I want to use for this one the slab tool and this will go on our cutting element, which will work here. And let's just draw this. And I want to have a look in the section what we got here. There you go. Great, yeah, so what I want to, I want to multiply this up. I can see this is not quite fitting there, so. Let's extend this. Yeah, that's good. All right, so now I want to copy this up. Again, we sort of try to have a look what looks best. Let's take, yeah, let's take a 30. Yes, it's a bit too thick. So, let's make this 50. And try again. We go, we don't need to distribute this time. Actually we do, I make it 40. Whoa, that's a lot. Now before I go up, I actually have to adjust the distance here. So, you know what, I think it's better we do it at 100. Okay, and we, drag this down and drag it up again so I know I've got a hundred distance yeah that's good actually and let's do 30 distribution minus one yo that looks good but I need 100 distance here and I don't so what I do is undo this do it again 
don't do this. So we go here, all the way up. And from there, you see now y100 minus. All right, cool. Yes, I like it. Let's group this. Oh, I can't group. Can't group in the section. All good. Go there and we group and we move this to our cutting element, which I have on the export layer. Great, solid element operation. Ah, oh, sometimes you can't get that up. That's so annoying. Have you? Very strange, isn't it? Anyway, operator elements, target, execute. Great, let's turn them off. Let's have a look. Very pretty, very pretty. And you have to convert this to morph again because otherwise you need the cutting elements so convert to morph okay great so now you don't need the cutting element that's the one i was looking for so moving over here move a bit up of course what i need is that suspend groups i need this one here where's my nice round one that one i want to copy I need one of those in here. That's quite hard to find the middle. There you go. Yeah, it doesn't give me the middle. So, oh, there it is. Just draw a quick line. It's easier. I have to go there. Get rid of the line. So drag this over here and drag another one. There you go. Let's have a walk. I hope I gave you some ideas what you can do now with all those different tools and you can create your own special design columns because there are many more to do. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you back next time. Bye for now.